Hello, people of God. Hello, hello, hello. God bless you, people of God. Hallelujah. I'm so excited in my spirit tonight. I, I absolutely had to get on. I know it's late. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, my spirit is so on fire. I am just so excited in my spirit. I'm so excited to just share what I'm about to share with the body of Christ, with the people of God. And I promise tonight ain't going to be one of them long nights, but I just got to share with y'all what the Lord has. I've been sitting on this for a long time. And tonight I just got out of a service. And so tonight a fire was just lit on the inside of me. So I got to I got to go ahead and, and, and say what the Lord has said. Hallelujah. Um, so I'm going I'm to get right to it. God bless y'all people of God. God bless you. Press. Uh, Pastor Preston and God bless you, uh, Sister Sheila. God bless you to everybody on the live. God bless you, Ola. God bless you, woman of God. So I'm going. I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna hit this and quit it. Uh, but but the Lord had. I was in service last week Sunday, and my pastor was preaching. He was preaching a dynamic word, an awesome word, and the Lord said, "We gotta get there." And so I was like, get there. I said, Lord, what do you mean get there? And so the Lord said, we got to get to a place of one accord, of being with one accord, not on the accord. But we got to get to the place of, be, of being with one accord in the body of Christ. And so I'm, I'm sitting there just enjoying the word of the Lord. And God was just ministering to me about getting there. How we get from here to get to there. To the place where we see miracles on the regular. So we see God moving on the regular. And so God said there's a secret formula that the church has. We heard about it. We know about it. Sometimes we even talk about it. But we never get there. Hallelujah. We, we're familiar with the song and the dance and the rhyme but we never get to the place we never get to that place where miracles are common where God moving is common where we we know that this is not unlike God whatever God does we know this is his behavior this is his pattern this is how he works with us this is how he deals with us and so God took me to um, Acts 2 and 1 and like I said this is going to be real quick Hallelujah. God bless you, people of God. God bless you, uh, Sister Tyra and Minister Anthony. God bless y'all. Hallelujah. So Acts 2 and 1. Short and sweet and hard to be. Now when you when you hear this right here, hallelujah, it just it just gonna make us get there. It's, it's just gonna push us there. So uh Acts 2 and 1 says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Hallelujah. So uh, just that two and one is, is, is like a landmark scripture for the people of God that if we ever feel like we in the dry place, if we ever feel like we're, God is not moving, if we ever feel like we're not seeing the handiwork of God or we're not, we're not being exposed to the miracles, go to Acts 2 and 1 and then get there. Hallelujah. God said the people of God got to line themselves up and get there. We got to get to Acts 2 and 1. We got to get to the place like the Bible said where they were all in one place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they don't even particularly have to be a location. It don't even have to be everybody at your house. It don't have to be everybody at your job. It don't have to be everybody at the same church. Hallelujah. But God said if, if you could just get there being with one accord, with one mind, doing one thing. That's all God said. It don't care. It don't matter if you're in different locations. But can you just get there? Can you get to one accord? Court. Can you get to one place? Hallelujah. Because the Bible says in Acts 2 and 1 that when Pentecost was fully come, they were all 
in one place. Hallelujah. And so it didn't say that that, that they were uh, scattered in their mindset. Hallelujah. See, we could all be in one place, but we could be scattered in our mindset. And God can't accomplish what he tried to accomplish with us. But if we can all get in one place, hallelujah, one mindset, where we're serving one God, where we're saying the same thing, where we're lifting up one praise and one worship hallelujah where if all of us can get with one accord hallelujah and where is the accord the accord is not in your church it ain't in my church the accord is in the word of God the word of God brings us with one accord hallelujah the word of God puts us in one place in one mindset with one thought with one act hallelujah the word of God brings all our wandering wayward minds into a one accord and so this is where God said the church if we want to see God moving I'm not talking about every now and then trickle trickles or droplets I'm talking about steady currents flowing streaming rivers flowing with living waters I'm talking about uh, everlasting trees being planted by everlasting waters I'm talking about God doing something every minute of the hour not every five days or every ten weeks hallelujah we serve a God that is always on the cusp of doing something great he's doing something great to those that are with one accord and so he said if I could just get the body of Christ if we could just get there Hallelujah. We could get there and we're not worried about who the pastor is or whose church it is. We're not worried about who the better preacher is. We ain't worried about who got the best gift, who got the greatest gift. So when we all come with one accord, our interest and our desire is that whatever God does, whoever he uses, he can use anybody he wants to as long as God has his way. See, when you get with one accord, you say, God, use anybody. I don't care if you use the chair. I don't care if you use the janitor. I don't care if you use the deacon. I don't care if you use the missionary. I don't care if you use the praise dancer. I don't care if you use the usher. God, use anybody. Just have your way hallelujah that's what God said I want you to get there so when you get there you can get with one accord with the body of Christ universally Hallelujah. God said, I, this is not a one church thing, a, a your church or a my church or a they church. We ought to be able to visit one another's church in the body of Christ, I'm talking. I'm not talking about going to the atheistic temple and trying to get there. I'm not talking about going to the Catholic temple and trying to get there. I'm talking about anybody that professes and believes the God that you believe in. They serve the same God you serve. Hallelujah. Then we all should be able to get there. I should be able to come in your church, hallelujah, and worship just like I would worship at my church, hallelujah. And there was there should be no discrepancy in the spirit, hallelujah. There should be no isms and schisms or no big eyes and little use, hallelujah. Because God said, I just want y'all to get there. He wants us to get there, hallelujah, to a place of worship with one accord, hallelujah. God said, there's some things I want to do in the earth, but I can't do it until you get there, hallelujah, where is there, there is an Acts 2 and 1, and I'm going to read it again, hallelujah, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they, hallelujah, that means there is a people that God is calling, hallelujah, they were all, that means all of them were in there, all of them were there, hallelujah, when you want to see a good move of God, and you want to see God move dramatically, I'm talking about Oh, I'm talking about a dramatic move of God. Then you need everybody to get there. Hallelujah. I can't have you lagging behind and slow poking and, and waiting around. I need you to get there. Come on, get to the place of fire. Get to the place of, 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 of God where God is moving mightily. Get to the place where the spirit is flowing. Get there. Hallelujah. Don't expect me to carry you there. Get there. Whatever you got to do to get there, get there. Hallelujah. If you you got
expectation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And see, we got to know how to get there. Hallelujah. We got to know how to get there. Because we all can't be in, in one building. Hallelujah. And God, God put, he, he put you inside of this passage of scripture. Hallelujah. He said, I want you to be able to come with one accord. Hallelujah. One accord. One accord. Hallelujah. And when you get with one accord, oh God, mighty things happen. When you get with one accord, hallelujah, spirits start coming subject. When you get with one accord, hallelujah, people get filled with the Holy Ghost. And yes, that is a such thing now. Hallelujah. There is a, a thing of getting filled with the Holy Ghost because we don't even talk about that no, no more. Hallelujah. I said when you get there, hallelujah, everything we need is there if we can get there. Hallelujah. So he said, and they were all with one accord in one place. In one place. And suddenly, see, once we get there, suddenly is waiting. When we get to there, suddenly is waiting for us, people of God. Suddenly is waiting when we get there. Hallelujah. God said, I, there's some things I've been waiting to do and wanting to do, but I just didn't see you there. I didn't see you get there. You didn't make it there. You haven't got there yet. See, you having pity parties and you talking about folks and you lying on folks and you got gossiping about folks, and you're worried about who ain't there, and you, you're not there, hallelujah, so God said, just get there, get with one accord, if it ain't nothing but two of y'all, if the two of y'all get there, hallelujah, God said, I will move for the two, hallelujah, if three get there, I'll move for the three, hallelujah, if five get there, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If five people manage to get there and they all with together with one accord in one place, in one mind, one thought, they're there to do the same thing. Hallelujah. They're praising the same God because you can have a hundred people in one room and 50 of them could be praising the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the other five could be praising Muhammad. The other the five could be praising Buddha. It's, it's, so everybody, God, got to be the same God. Hallelujah. You got to be the same God, y'all. Hallelujah. We got to be praising the same God. We got to be worshiping the same God. We got to be there with the same mission and the same mindset. If you there just waiting on your turn to blow up, hallelujah, then you ain't got there. Hallelujah. If you there waiting for somebody to acknowledge you, then you ain't got there yet. Hallelujah. If you there, hallelujah, and you can't talk to your neighbor, you ain't got there yet. If you there and you hating on folks, you ain't got there there yet. If you there and you're not forgiving people, you ain't got there yet. But if you can get there, hallelujah, if you can get there, hallelujah, glory to God. If you just get there, God says suddenly, 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 hallelujah, he said that suddenly, there came a sound from heaven. Hallelujah. See, we, we get a reactions in the earth. And God is saying, I want you to listen for the sound from heaven. There is a sound that is not like any other sound that we've heard in the earth. Hallelujah. But we're listening for the familiar sounds. And those sounds don't ring the same as heaven sound ring. Hallelujah. But the Bible says that once we get there, there is a suddenly sound from heaven. A suddenly sound from heaven. Hallelujah. The Bible said, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. Honda Messiah. I'm talking about the great blowout. The great blow up, the great blow out, the great blow up. Hallelujah. When you get there, that means God is God is ready and willing to blow your mind. He's literally waiting and ready to blow our minds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, because eyes ain't even seen it, ears ain't even heard. 
all of the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Hallelujah. But he just need us to get there. Hallelujah. Get somebody good that you can pray with. Get somebody that when you touch and agree with them, that both of y'all can get there. Hallelujah. Sometimes we partnering with people that can't get there and then they stop in our progress. Hallelujah. We're expecting them to get there with us, but they ain't ready to get there. They're not looking for the there. They're not looking for what you're looking for. Hallelujah. They want to get, they want to get there after you get there. Hallelujah. And get your blow up. Get your mind blown. Then they want to partake Hallelujah After you have gotten there You struggled to get there You cried to get there You prayed to get there Hallelujah You worshiped to get there You gave up things to get there You sacrificed to get there Hallelujah You put, you laid down weights to get there Hallelujah Some people are lazy They ain't trying to get there Hallelujah They want to get They want to get on your wagon Hallelujah They want you to take them there Pick them up and carry them them there, hallelujah, but God said no, everybody gotta get there, everybody gotta get there, cause when we get, when we get the overflow and the increase hallelujah, we all gonna partake of it, we all gonna get it, hallelujah but we all gotta get there hallelujah, it don't matter what church you go to, it don't matter what who your pastor is, it don't matter how long you've been at the ministry it don't matter, none of that matters it don't matter how much offering y'all raise at church, it don't matter how many deacons is on your staff it don't matter, can you get there Hallelujah. Can you and your deacons get there? Hallelujah. Can the pastor get there? Can the members get there? Can that anointed praise team get there? Can the musicians get there? Hallelujah. Can we all get there with one accord? Hallelujah. Sometimes I know. Hallelujah. I know that it may not be feasible. Hallelujah. Because we got a mixed audience. But then God said this. He said, I want you to show the people amongst you. Hallelujah. He said, there's gonna, there's a time, not, not even going to come a time, but there's a time now. Hallelujah. What well, God said, even in the midst, hallelujah, of those that are confused and dazed, hallelujah, they're in the haze and they don't know how to get there. God said, I'm going to show them how to get there by watching you. Hallelujah. They're going to watch you and that's how they're going to know how to get there. You don't have to carry them. You don't have to carry them. All you got to do is show them. Point them to the way. Show them how to get there through your worship. Show them how to get there through your praise. Show them how to get there through your struggle. Show them how to get there. Hallelujah. So when they all get there. Hallelujah. Some may take a little longer than others. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that's the grace in this thing. That's the grace in this thing. Because see, when we all manage to finally get there, some of us may get there quicker than others. Hallelujah. But when they see how you got there, hallelujah, and how that place, when you got there, suddenly God moved. Hallelujah. That's going to make them anxious. That's going to make them want to know what must I do? What must I do? What do I got to do to get there? What do I got to do to get that joy that I see you always have? And what do I got to do? Hallelujah. Because your renters do like my renters do, but you ain't having a breakdown. So what do I got to do to get there to that place where I'm not worried about the bills? I'm not worried about the drama. I'm not worried about the struggle. What do I got to do to get there? What do I got to do? Hallelujah. So when you get there... And people watching you there, hallelujah, they're watching you in that place of praise. And they're watching you in that place of worship, hallelujah. When they know, they know, hallelujah, that you should be doing something else or you could be doing something else. But they see you praising and they see you worshiping, hallelujah, and they see you get there, hallelujah. And they see what God does for you after you get there, they're going to want to go there. They're going to want to go there. Hallelujah. And God said the body of Christ, we have to get with one accord. 
Ain't no way around this thing. Ain't no way around this thing, people of God. Hallelujah. There's no way, hallelujah, that we can move without being with one accord. And that's what God is expecting from us. That's what God is looking for in his people, that we get with one accord. If it's two, both of y'all need to be with one accord. If it's four, all four of y'all need to be with one accord. If it's eight, eight of y'all need to be with one accord. Hallelujah. Get there. Glory to God. And I just had to share that tonight. Hallelujah. I was so excited. <clears throat> I was so excited. And I'm telling you, what God will do when you get with one accord, he will use anybody in the house. He will use anybody ready. Anybody willing, anybody able, anybody surrendered, anybody that just got their mind saying, oh God, I don't know what you want to do tonight, but whatever you want to do, hallelujah, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, how I feel right now, I'm telling you this, this, this tonight, Hallelujah, glory to God. Sometimes when you get there, God got your word waiting for you. When you get there, God got a blessing waiting for you. When you get there, hallelujah, how you know that that was the place? Because that's where the blessing flow. That was the place for you because that's where the blessing flows. Hallelujah. That's where God was trying to get us to. He's trying to get us to one accordness. Hallelujah. Wherever the blessing is flowing, get there. Get there. Hallelujah. Don't be too proud. Hallelujah. Don't be stuck on, on traditional things. Don't be stuck on oh don't don't be stuck on the box and how it looked. Hallelujah. Because some God ain't even in the box. He not even in the box. Hallelujah. And that's why he said about the, the, the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. The people outside, they couldn't understand what was going on. They couldn't understand. See, they wasn't there to get something. They was there to spectate. They was trying to figure out, I know these men. They ain't about worth two cents. I know these men. I know these people. They speaking in other languages. Where is they getting this from? Who gave them this power? Is this some kind of witchcraft? Is this some kind of sorcery? Is this some kind of magic? Because they, they, they everyday people. These everyday people. Hallelujah. They doing some miraculous things in that upper room. And I need to know what's going on. Hallelujah. And when we get there to the place where God has called us to, and that is the call to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. When you can tell when, when you are not afraid to allow your, yourself, your people, to, for us to worship universally. Hallelujah. Sometimes people try to keep, keep people all to themselves. No, you just at my church. No, this is, where the, this is where the Lord moving right here. God is moving everywhere. And if those that's experiencing a move of God will share that with somebody else, hallelujah, so that we all can get there. Hallelujah. And we can get there if when people come in, we don't look at them with a negative eye. We can get there if we all come in with an expectation. We can get there if whatever church you go to, you go into that church, hallelujah, and it's not about when you can sing next or when you can preach next or oh, hallelujah, we can get there. If we're not standing there judging one another, we can get there. Hallelujah. If we're not saying, well, my favorite person ain't preaching today, so I'm not going. Oh, we can get there. We can get there. Hallelujah. When we get with one accord, we're getting there. Hallelujah. And it's worth repeating. It's worth repeating because so many people in the body of Christ got so many ideologies. We are set in so many ways. And God is trying to bend us and mold us and shape us. And he's trying to get us out of these familiar places and try to get us out of these familiar thoughts and mindsets and have habitual thoughts that we have concerning ministry, concerning church, concerning the kingdom, concerning, concerning uh, Christendom. He's trying to get us away from the mundane way of doing things. 
Hallelujah. He said, if you can get there, hallelujah, to where your mind, hallelujah, is don't you don't have a, a um, preferred group of people. Hallelujah. You 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 don't uh you you got a little sect in the church that just your sect of people. Oh, there's jealousy there. There's envy there. There's strife there. There's debate there. There's contention and confusion there. We can't get there. So God has said, if I if I could get some pastors, hallelujah, that would just open themselves up, hallelujah, and just uh, give in to the spirit. And let God have his way. Then we can get there. We can get there. Hallelujah. If the prophets. Hallelujah. Would just open themselves up. And let God have his way. We can get there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If we could just get out of the way we think it should be. The way we think God coming, the way we think he going to move today, the way he, the person we think he going to use. Hallelujah. Prepared sermons and messages. I'm not saying don't be ready. But if God switch it up at the last minute, can you get there? If God said that ain't the word for the day, can you get there? Can you switch your message? Can you go with the flow of the Holy Ghost? Can you allow God to have his way? Hallelujah. If God want to change up your order of service, would you allow God to be God? If God want to change the way you do things, will you allow him to change it? Hallelujah. If he wants you to, to go here this Sunday, would you allow God to lead you? Because we got to get there. We want God to move, but we ain't getting there. We we not getting there. We at B and God is at A. And he's waiting for us to get to A so he can show out. So he can show out for us. Hallelujah. So he can defeat some giants for us. And hallelujah. And lower some things for us. God got so many things that he want to do. But we got to get there. We got to get to that place of one accordness in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We, uh, we, you know, we got to get out of this mindset. If they ain't my pastor, that that no, nah, that ain't my church up there. No, nah, that that ain't my church. I, I don't do. If that ain't my church, we got to get out of that. Hallelujah! Because God be moving anywhere, anywhere. And if, once we get to the place where we're saying, God, wherever you want to move, move. Whatever you want to do, God, do it. Whoever you want to use, God, use them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm not going I'm not going to hold y'all long. Hallelujah. I'm finna get off the line. Glory to God. Bless you to everyone that hallelujah came on the line tonight. Uh Pastor Greg and uh Sister Sheila and and, and Mama Mama Ola. <laughs> And uh, Sister Tyra and Minister Anthony and Pastor Felicia and, and Pastor Dantre and, and my cousin Yolanda, Neek Neek. God bless you to Monique Davis and DeAsia. God bless you, Reginald. God bless you, Therese. Sister Therese, God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God, my cousin Anthony. God bless you, Sister Laura. God bless you. Hallelujah. So I, my prayer for the body of Christ is that we all get there. Hallelujah. And I know many of us is frustrated in the body of Christ. If, I'm telling you, I, I recorded the, the service on tonight. If you didn't get a chance to watch it, go back and watch the service from tonight. I, I don't even promote people because uh, you never know what's going to come out of some folks' mouth. So I don't promote folks. I really don't do it unless I know their character. I know their spirit. Um, but I went to a service, a prophetic service tonight. And this woman of God, she spoke the word of the Lord. She spoke the word of the Lord. And I didn't go there for a prophetic word because I don't do that. I don't go around looking for no prophetic words because I believe and I put that, um, I reposted something that um, 
uh, Amy Mama, y'all might not know Amy Mama, but Amy Mama put on a Facebook a post and I reposted it because I felt that thing in my spirit. I felt that. And it said, you don't have to, I'm going to summarize it. You don't have to chase a table. You don't have to, you don't have to seek to sit at the head of the table because when you show up in the room, it don't matter if you seated at the table. It don't even matter if you're standing on the wall. The table and the room will shift for you. Hallelujah. When you got the anointing of God in you and on you, glory to God, you ain't got to seek to be in one spot. Hallelujah. Your, your presence, the presence of God in you will command attention. People will come to you. You don't got to go to people. Glory to God. People will seek you out. You don't have to seek out people. Glory to God. The value on your life, God will expose. Hallelujah. The value that's in you and on you. He will cause people to see it. He will cause people to see the shine and follow the shine. They will follow the shine. They trying to figure out why is you glowing like you glowing. Why are you able to move through a crowd like you move through a crowd. Glory to God. And so um, I went to this service tonight. And when I tell you the Lord moved. He, God moved in this place on tonight. And I think tomorrow night is the last night for those that are able to come. I believe it would be a blessing to the body of Christ, to the people of God. And this is also what I'm saying when we when we say uh, getting there to that place of one accordness, we got to, um, I'm not saying go everywhere, hallelujah, but you got to be able to get there wherever God is. You got to be able to get there and you can't have no isms and schisms about whether God is is because that's not your people and your church and the people you familiar with and comfortable with and the people you know. Sometimes you got to get out of your normal environment. You got to get out of that familiar place. Hallelujah. In order to hear the voice of God and see the miracles of God. Hallelujah. Abraham had to get out of his country. And God showed him something different. But he had to leave the place that he was used to. Hallelujah. Brought up in, grew up in, knew those folks. And sometimes God is trying to get us out of the familiar and the mundane so that we can receive what he got for us. So um, there have the services, the last night is tomorrow night. And I believe it starts at 7 o'clock, 96th in Lisbon. I think it's Morris Cathedral Church of God in Christ. So if you're if you're available, uh, um, Lord's willing, I'm going to be there. I will be taping it live for those that are not in uh, Milwaukee or you want to or you're not able to make it and you want to be a part of it. All it takes is getting there, getting with one accord. That's it. Getting with one accord. And so um, we we're going to do that. Um, on tomorrow night and um, God is going to have his way and we need to pray this people of God we need to be praying this praying this Lord help us get there help us get there help us get to the place where we need to be at help us get to the place of miracles signs and wonders hallelujah where they are flowing where they are frequent hallelujah where they are where they they are common oh God hallelujah where we see them every day all the time where we see your handiwork we see your miracles we see you moving we see you doing phenomenal things in the earth realm you're you Using your people all over the globe, all over the world. Father, I thank you that you're giving us the tenacity. You're giving us the mindset to get there to the place that we're with one accord. We're not on the accord. We're not stepping in the on the way. Hallelujah. But we're with one accord. We're joining together with believers. Hallelujah. And we're thinking the same thing. We're speaking the same thing. You're bringing us from, from this duality to one 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 way one God one mind hallelujah because you are the true and living God and you are the one that we serve we live for you God we live for you God 
Hallelujah. We give you our lives, oh God. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for the body of Christ everywhere. Where there is division, where there is debate, where there is contention, where there is jealousy, where there is strife, where there is hatred. Hallelujah. Where there is the crab mentality, God. I pray even now that the bands will be loosed. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all of your people, that we will be able to get there, God, to that place of being with one accord, hallelujah, and not one accord with a ministry, and not one accord with a person, not one accord with a group, but one accord with your word, oh God. Lord, let us not try to, to, to separate your word, oh God, but your word, it stands alone. It is all powerful by your Self, oh God, and we come into agreement with your word. We line ourselves up individually, God, and corporately. We line ourselves up as the body of Christ with your word, God. Hallelujah. Your word is the truth that we speak. Your word is the truth that we give. Your word, God. We're not speaking of our own mind. We're not doing this our own way, God. We're not trying to promote ourselves, God. We're trying to advance the kingdom, oh God. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you now that your people will become with one accord, oh God. One accord with the word of God. That we won't water it down. That we won't mishandle it. We won't manipulate. Try to manipulate people with the word of God. That we won't try to deceive people with the word of God. Father, I thank you that we won't build ourselves up with the word of God against somebody else, Father. I thank you that we will move with a one accordness, God. We will move with a one mindness, God. Hallelujah. Soundness of mind. Hallelujah. We won't be double minded and unstable in all of our ways. But God, I thank you that you are causing us to come with one accord with your word, Father. And we thank you now. Hallelujah. Because your word is the truth. Your word is the life. Hallelujah. It gives us life. Hallelujah. And we bless you for it now. We bless you for it. We pray for those that are on the line even now, God. Lord, I pray for your people, God. Whatever the need is for your people, that every need be met, God, according to your riches and glory. And God, as we get there, as we get to that place, as we get there, God, Lord, open up for us the windows of heaven. Pour our blessings we won't have room enough to receive. God, open up our minds and open up our wheels and open up our way to your ways, oh God. Lord, show us the deep secret things of God. Reveal them to us through the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, as we get there, as we get to a place of one accord, oh God, I ask that you reveal those things that have been hidden, God. Hallelujah. Those things that have been hidden, reveal them to your people, God. And we thank you now for the revelation. We thank you for the revelation, God. We thank you for the revelation, God. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you that your people are not ignorant. Hallelujah. That we're not lazy. We're not slowful. We're not unconcerned. When it comes down to your word, we're mindful, God. I thank you that we're moved, Lord, with clarity and speed and accuracy when it comes to your word, oh God. That we won't be deceived or manipulated. Hallelujah. But that your word will be made plain unto us, God. Because we seek it out. We walk it out. We talk it out. We faith it out, God. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, bless your people now in Jesus' name, I pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. So I pray, hallelujah, that this was a blessing to you, to you guys on tonight. I, I'm just, I'm charged up. I'm fired up. I'm, man, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. So God bless y'all. I love you people of God. Y'all have a, <coughs> have a blessed night. Glory to God. Have a blessed night. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Y'all have a wonderful night. I love y'all and be blessed.